A national disgrace. That's what New Jersey Governor-elect Phil Murphy calls New Jersey Transit. And tonight, Mr. Murphy getting ready for his first elected job ever, appointing a new transportation commissioner to try to fix it. For years, she was one of the leaders of New Jersey's Department of Transportation. Can she do this job? I would just report Jim Dolan with the story. He's live in Hoboken for us. Jim. Bill, New Jersey's governor-elect Peter Murphy has a whole state to run now, but maybe no portion of it more crucial to the state's future than fixing New Jersey's crumbling and crippling infrastructure. Today, what he hopes is a first step. The governor-elect was, if nothing else, frank. We need a strong leader to take hold of the national disgrace that is NJ Transit, turning it upside down and shaking it up so that we can make it right again. New Jersey has the worst roads in the nation by some accounts, and the infrastructure of rail lines and bridges is crumbling. The governor-elect says all of that prevents New Jersey from attracting jobs, people, and businesses. To stanch the bleeding, the governor-elect, Murphy, has chosen Diane gutierrez Schetti as transportation commissioner. She was guardedly optimistic. It is essential for me in leading this department to continue to make sure that you never wake up and wonder if you can take the New Jersey Turnpike or 287 or Route 130 and get to work or to school with your children or to important appointments. Still, the new commissioner acknowledges the road ahead is, well, it's a New Jersey road. It is not going to be easy. It is not going to be simple, but I promise you 100% of my time and dedication to that task and to supporting the governor's promises that he made during his campaign to give a better commute to those people who live, work, and choose to live, work, and play in New Jersey. We are in crisis mode. Our roads and bridges are in desperate need of repair and rejuvenation, ranked among the worst in the country. Ms. Gutierrez Caschetti spent the last several years working in Florida where winter doesn't wreak havoc on the roads and bridges quite like it does here in New Jersey. But she did spend 21 years before that with the New Jersey State Department of Transportation. So she is up to that challenge.